America government shutdown is narrowly avoided. With just three hours left until the existing budget ran out, the U.S. narrowly escaped a government shutdown. Agencies will be allowed to do business as usual for the next 45 days thanks to a hurried package, which puts a stop to the commotion in Washington. This short-term fix, however, resulted in the suspension of funding to Ukraine. This problem will need to be brought up again with an increasing number of Republican senators. Four million government workers would have gone without pay if a deal hadn't been struck, forcing national parks and financial regulators to close. Seven million low-income mothers' nutrition assistants would have been terminated, and active duty troops would have had to labor without pay. Additionally, delays for travelers may have resulted from effects on border and airport security. Democratic Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer said, The American people can breathe a sigh of relief there will be no government shutdown today. MAGA extremism has failed and bipartisanship has prevailed. Early in the week, it appeared as though a shutdown would almost certainly occur as right-wing Republicans demanded that federal departments cut their budgets by up to 30 percent. The White House and Democrats rejected this demand as being too drastic. With Republican House Speaker Kevin McCarthy dropping those criteria, the proposal fell apart on Friday. Instead, he depended on Democrats to approve the legislation, risking his career in the process, which allowed the Senate to adopt the law 88-9. Mr. McCarthy later struck a defiant tone and dismissed concerns he could be ousted as leader, telling reporters, I want to be the adult in the room, go ahead and try. And you know what? If I have to risk my job for standing up for the American public, I will do that. A Capitol office building had to be evacuated as a result of Democrat Jamal Bowman's admission that he had set off a fire alarm while trying to approve the bill, which caused prior controversy. The lawmaker from New York was seen on tape turning on the alarm. But his spokesperson insisted it was unintentional and added, the congressman regrets any confusion. The incident is under investigation and has even prompted calls for Mr. Bowman to be expelled. Meanwhile, President Joe Biden has welcomed the last-minute deal and says it prevents an unnecessary crisis that would have inflicted needless pain on millions of hard-working Americans. He added, I want to be clear we should never have been in this position in the first place. Just a few months ago, Speaker McCarthy and I reached a budget agreement to avoid precisely this type of manufactured crisis. For weeks, extreme House Republicans tried to walk away from that deal by demanding drastic cuts that would have been devastating for millions of Americans. They failed. Mr. Biden went on to warn that U.S. support for Ukraine cannot be interrupted when the country is at a critical moment.